It's a silly game. <laughs> With silly spawn, silly spawn timers. So I don't actually have to worry about it yet. It's gonna. It was Aru's gonna tell us about the time ring. If I talk to him, we could just go ahead and walk up here. Grab this thing. With our cool powers. We needed this thing to get all the way back to the other edge. <laughs> I'm actually killing a decent amount of enemies. I think I'm going to be full up on uh, blood vials or thick blood. By the time we get to a Harmon room. What I wouldn't do to turn off... Double tap. It's a decent move, but at the same time it isn't. If that makes any sense. Alright, the only enemy left is a big guy, and I don't feel like swapping over. We're just gonna pet him with bullets until he explodes. It's a non usable blood. We don't need it. We're fine. Since we were able to actually pop in the engraving, the engraving. Now everything's turned on. Actually supplying power to the amusement park. And what's this? I'm gonna talk to EOSR real quick. I believe he says something interesting here. Maybe he's just talking about... JK. But he is telling us the hint, which is that you gotta switch back to the wind ring. I know it seems like it'd be really easy. Just pop the balloons. We don't do that here. This is Killer 7. I don't know what game you think we're playing. You kill seven, this is the logic. See, you blow the balloons away with your wind, and then the balloons get blown away towards you. Yeah, away towards. And you get your item. We're good to go. Don't actually need the, uh... Whatever's in the fourth cinema, by the way. That's just for flair. Yeah, new, new and improved Master Smith with an instantaneous reload time, which is nice because he's been kind of falling behind a little bit, honestly, and starting to use him less. But now he can also destroy stronger walls. The guy in the main event is unlike any other. If you try to hit that early, it'd be like you're not a main eventer. Actually, able to dump our thick blood before we max out, which is gonna happen if we don't do it here. Now we got a lot that we can still upgrade, even though. Okay. Destiny. Yeah, I, I was, it sounded like he just crashed into something in the background. That's not what happened on the mic. I want to say you can level them to like power level five. Okay then. What did you say? I'm gonna see who's falling behind here. Everyone, level three. Look up Kevin. Yeah, Kevin's behind. 
I feel bad. But I'm not sure if I feel bad enough to use them. Ironically, even though this is Dance Chapter, can't use them yet. Might be a problem. I'll have to figure that out when we hit the next area. Uh, for now, let's use Kevin. His ability will be kind of nice coming up. Wait, I might be a liar because the Protector Z is now introduced. <laughs> Even though we just got the Protector smile, we now have the Protector Z, which you defeat in a similar way. <laughs> Put a charge on it, and then you fire it. <laughs> it's not too difficult, but it's still funny that you, there's a difference. Like, they... they Make you use a vial. You get two vials back, so it's actually not that bad. Don't need to kill seven more, so. Oops. Didn't mean to click that. I meant to click this way. So that I can have them. My sides. <laughs> sitting here until we can kill enough to get Dan. Which is an uh, alarmingly quiet affair in this area. so far. Six. I'm not very good at this. That's fine. <laughs> There's another Harmon's room right here. Let's save. Want to do? Then save over. Sunset, which we're very much done with. Let's grab Dan. Don't make me sick. Or is this a bad time? I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Or am I? You want Dan here? Just like that, we can actually keep going. I clicked on the wrong door. We do not have access to this yet. Actually, I probably should have clicked on... His text, just so you can see what it looks like when he denies you. <laughs> but instead, we're just gonna go forward. This is too easy. Shot. Hurry on in. <laughs> Got distracted by having to click a thing. My alarm was going off. 
<laughs> Which is actually an afternoon alarm to tell me I have something else to do with my day in about 30 minutes. Should be able to finish this segment before then, I think. You can't get in without a mask. Oh, it's masquerade. Drona is universal. It's in every game. Straight up wearing a mask is cheating. What are you talking about? Anyway. This is still counts as a mask, right? The half mask that covers my eyes. You don't have what it takes. All right. Well, this one covers my mouth. That's fine, right? Of course, you could switch back as soon as you're done with that. <laughs> First time I actually missed that shot. Woo! Why are we doing that? It's just very fun, that's why. All that claustrophobic is in this area, huh? Fuck you. Whew, almost missed. Send him to hell. If you can believe it, I actually believe more in coming to this <laughs> next part. As a uh, fun. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Anytime you see me stop and start, I'm actually picking up my mouse and moving it. I don't have very big coverage. I've got big up and down coverage, not very big uh, left and right coverage. Fine. We're heading this way. This is like the NVIDIA logo. Spinning to test if you want to add anti-aliasing. Don't have to spend too much time here. We're actually already done. Last thing to do. Quick swap to the water ring. Water ring. I almost tripped on my own words when I was saying that. That's going to kill me. That's going to kill me. Six. Six, and then... Stamina. Good enough. Only seen them in my dreams. Ishizaka. If you don't aim fast and true, they'll slip through your fingers.
The heart doesn't lie, you'll be surprised. This is a hint for our boss fight coming up. Like all boss fights, it's half a puzzle, half a fight. <laughs> the answer's a little bit more obvious than you think. But yeah, I actually don't mind the amusement park bits just because it's a fun diversion from the normal gameplay loop. A good way to mix things up, too. That's the ticket. Almost as if to point out what the fight's gonna be. We've got training for hitting a weak point in the center of an enemy. That's standing perfectly still, though. Yeah, one hiding behind the doors. A red door for saving. Spinny spin. Aiming with the scope is a little bit tough. I'm gonna see if I can get this without scoping. One, one shot, so I shouldn't feel too bad about that. He's gonna straight line here. You don't have to chase too hard. It it. Got it. Yeah, we're done. So, we're being offered a new weapon. This is what our weapon currently looks like, it sounds like. I love the minion just hovering over the bullet shell. The demon gun has been received. Small differences, but this is a new gun. All right. And just like that, we're back. <laughs> You know, I'm still not the best at aiming, but I like to think like I do decent. <laughs> wow, I survived all that. I didn't know how that was going to go because I didn't feel like dealing with the runners. Music's still off. We're just going to run into this killer mansion. Try to get things done quickly. This puzzle is a bit of an obvious one if you've played a game with a haunted level. You've seen this kind of puzzle before, I feel like. <laughs> oh, he's facing us, then that's the correct door. <laughs> I gotta reset this situation. Any 
more enemies show up and I might actually be in trouble. There we go. Separate them a little bit. <laughs> ah, shit. Good enough. This is a switch to mask. Activate one charge. One charge. Keep blocking. So, what's up with this place? Uh... As I kind of pointed out or alluded to at the beginning, a black market organ trader is what he does in public. In private, he lives with the orphans that he picks up from this amusement park. They're all girls too. This, like what happened in Almeida Town, is sanctioned by the government. Pedro goes through the immigration office and works with Curtis. So, government sanctioned organ trading. Is the starting line of what's actually going on here. The starting line. With all that, ready to go. Go ahead and pop our thick blood. Been sitting here on a large stack of blood. Love to be able to actually cash all this out. Now we're not even maxed out. The machine hasn't broken yet. When the machine breaks, that means you've maxed out how much blood you can get in a level. I'm gonna go ahead and... Okay then. Destiny. Put one more point in the power and max out Mask Dismith. Power wise. Oh, and before I leave, this room is also placed here so that you can switch back to the personalities. To the Smiths. Can't exactly get much done since only one's a healer. Or one's only a healer. But I believe we actually collected all the bullets. I don't think I missed anything. Although I feel like I missed something. We're gonna go ahead and go forward. Right on inside. It's all very busy work uh, while we're building our way up. And there's a lot to mull over. Some of which I'm waiting for the the key for the keyword drop in game for me to open up a little bit more about what's going on. But so far keep these in mind. Hold on. Armor crumbled and it revealed a monster. Oh, 
Adults are the suck. You gotta love this little kid. Ghost kid. <laughs> There's actually not much of a problem with this enemy, even though it's like, oh, hey, it's wearing armor. All right. So the secret to taking out the enemy with armor is one of several things. One, you can just sit there and shoot the armor. Two. And I swear I can land it, but you can hit the weak spot and just keep walking. Not very much to it. Uh, to keep in mind is that Pedro works with Curtis through the immigration center and this amusement park to legally, by the government's hands, trade child organs. Sanctioned. They allow this. Capital to a foreign syndicate. Tried to skim a little off the top. Self-defense force. Traders are punished by death. Helion was framed by Pedro. So Pedro assigned Dan to launder the dirty money and had the old man take Dan out. So the story goes. Dan was also originally a part of this deal. Uh, a, somewhat against his will, I'd like to believe. Um, I don't remember if it's true or not. Like, if it's against his will or not. I know there's someone behind the scenes who made sure he was there for all of that and, like, went along with it. Not gonna say what that's about yet. Too bright, turn off the light. It won't hit in the dark. Turn off the spotlight. Expose it all. Pick them off. Shoot them fast. Save me. Uh, but yeah. Dan, Pedro, and Curtis work with the government and officials, government officials, to do illicit things. And at this point, Curtis has killed and slaughtered everyone working at the Seattle Immigration Center. After Pedro and Curtis betray Dan. So there's a lot going on already. But we've got this. So yeah, that just happened. Um, if you were wondering why I suddenly took an interest in leveling up Mask's range and power, it's the explosion range, how far the explosion will hit because, and I, I hinted at it very briefly when I said that enemies who are fast are hard to hit with that explosion. You specifically use Mask for Ayumi Blackburn. And you can finish the fight fairly quickly. If you land your shots, you know. I'm gonna try here, but... If you mess around too much, you will have to heal up. Right there. There you go. Done. Easy peasy. And there she goes. Wait, but she's not done. There she goes. And then... There 
she goes. Goodbye, Ayame Blackburn. There she goes. <laughs> we did it! We'll finish the mission some other time. Um, our target wasn't there. <laughs>